apologize uh, to you for making you read all of those begat names, but I wanted us to have a, a, a little point from Scripture, and I think Scripture made it for itself, and that is, boy, God has a place and a plan and a purpose for us, and sometimes it lasts a whole long time. And so if there are folks here that we're honoring for our uh, sentimental journey at age 80, think that it's over yet? Just listen to what happened for old Methuselah, 969 years, you got a ways to go. Um, so, uh, also by the way, Bible trivia, Methuselah is the oldest person, right, in history, 969 years old. So if you want to impress your friends at the next Bible trivia quiz, there you have it. And now let us listen to another one of God's stories about folks who are, in Catherine's word, maybe a little long in the tooth. Let us listen for Luke chapter 2, verses 25 through 38. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for the glory to your people Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, The child is destined for the falling and rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed, so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and the sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe Asher. She was of a great age having lived with her husband seven years after her marriage, then as a widow to the age of 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At that moment, she came and began to praise God and to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Israel. Friends, here ends the scripture readings for us this morning. May God add a blessing to our hearing and understanding of God's holy words. 